In this video, we're going to go ahead and create uh, an application profile and an application EPG just for some management access for an ESX box that we've got connected to the fabric. Uh, we're also going to connect the fabric to a 3560 uh, via layer 3 out using BGP. So we're going to go ahead and start here with the external out. So as you can see, we're already in tenants and our, we are in our tenant. We're going to go ahead and go down to external routed networks Create a route outside, of course. We know we're going to use OSPF, or excuse me, BGP. We're going to tie it to our um, private network, which again is kind of like a VRF within uh, within HCI. So as I just called it VRF, just to keep my head on straight here. We're going to attach it to our layer three out that I've already created under the fabric and the fabric policies, and we'll just go ahead and finish out this and we don't use the wizard here because it confuses me more than more than it helps at the moment. Um, so again, attach to the VRF, attach to our layer three out. That's all good stuff right there. So we've got to create a node profile. So this is going to be our BGP profile. And I'll just kind of skip the wizard, jump straight right into here. Um, so this is on, what is this on? This is on leaf 101. We're going to give it a router ID here. We'll use that as our loopback. That's great. Then we'll jump into the logical interface profile. And this is really where timers and all that kind of stuff happens. Um, you're also going to configure whether it's a routed interface, SVI, routed sub interface. In my case, I'm just going to go ahead and use a routed interface because that's what I've got set up on the 3560. Just give it a point it to the right port. So we're using one leaf one port 148. Uh, where is my IP? My IP is this. Don't need a second IP. If you're doing OSPF, you may want to pay attention to the MTU. Of course, you could always change the OSPF policy to do MTU ignore in ACI. Uh, obviously, you'd want to do that on your cat or whatever you're connecting it to as well. Um, the MAC address, this is the auto MAC that it fills in for like everything. I'm not really sure. It feels like we probably shouldn't have this for everything. So we'll just change that to that for now. I'll do some more testing on that later. And now you can see we've got our routed interface set up. If we jump over to the cat, we should be able to ping that at this point. It takes a sec here. So we are up on that. On our side. I'll just be upset waiting for the rest of things to happen. So we'll come back to that in a second here. So under the networks, this is where we basically accept what we are going to except into the fabric, and this is also where the contracts are applied. So we're just going to go ahead and call this procedure layer 3 out. Again, I'll just kind of skip that. Um, so this, my understanding of this box is effectively, this is like a, a route filter for what you want to accept into the fabric. So for now, we're just going to accept default because we just want everything to come in. Um, and then up here under the policy and contracts tab, this is where actual contracts get applied to the L3 out. So for now, since this is all just lab stuff, I'm going to just go ahead and do the default common tenant. And I'll just, I think I only need it on the provided, but we're going to go ahead and do this on both for now. Just to get that sorted out. So let's kind of jump through this. BGP. It's in our VRF. Uh, pod 1, node 101. So router ID, that looks good. Going to have to do our peer address, of course. Box to that one here. Okay, so then we're going to do our peer 253.1. I'll just go ahead and send community users because that's what I'm used to doing anyway. Um, I asked for our peer is 65.55.2.3. We don't need to do any kind of prepend, prepend, replace, any of that kind of fun stuff. Um, and then this value, this is the actual peering 
uh, ASM for the ACI fabric, but it can't overlap the BGP route reflector policy for the internal fabric. That makes a lot of sense. Then when you, you'll see a little bit when the when we get routes from ACI in our cat, we actually will see the route reflector policy for the actual fabric ASN show up, and then also the ASN that we're peering to right now. So we just did 65.535 for the for the ACI fabric itself, and then we'll do 65.534 for this guy, and then 65.533 for our catalyst. We can double check faults too. So it looks like it was it was mad at me there for a minute because I didn't have all the things created. So that's that's okay. It should be fine now. Clear these faults out. Um, so I keep getting this one when I'm doing this. It's saying that it's configured as a layer two interface. So Ethernet 148 on node 101. Uh, basically, when I've seen this, you go into the access policies, go to global policies, and we can double check our AP. It's attached to our layer 3 physical out, which is right here. Again, attached to our AP, so that's, that looks all fine. And this is where you assign all the speed and CPP policies and all that jazz. We don't need that right now. We just need to see our profiles here. So Presidio L3 ports, this is just saying E148. And your switch policies, I've assigned that to switch one is doing this. So that's this is leaf 101. And this is saying port 148 is associated to this policy. It's not saying that here, so that, should, that all looks okay. Interesting. We still have that same policy problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and pause the recording, and we'll come back to this uh, in a second. I think uh, last time this happened, I tore it, tore the fabric policy stuff down and recreated it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, and then hop back. <laughs> 